Michael, if I had told the young kid, you grew up in what part of New York City did you grow up in, Michael, the, the area? What'd you uh, Bronx. Okay, the Bronx, right. If I told that kid from the Bronx that one day you'd have a show with your name on it where Joe Namath would be uh, broken by Zach Wilson uh, and let the entire country know about it, what would you have said, that kid in the Bronx, Michael? What would I told I, you? I, I dreamed about having a talk show, so I, I would probably say, yeah, really? But, you know, you know the dream at nine was to be the Yankee announcer, but yes. the talk show came about, and, and Joe, Nerm, Joe Namath certainly uh, made some news yesterday. Oh, my gosh. He's Zach Wilson has broken Joe Namath, Michael. Uh, that there's no question about that. He basically called his play disgusting and said the best thing about him would be the back. It sent him to be the backup to Mahomes, is what he said. Yeah. The interesting thing, Rich, is that you know he, he tweets or I don't know what to call it on X. He X's. Yes. And uh, <laughs> I was looking at it during the rain delay on Sunday uh, after the Jet game, and I could see that his comments were really pointed. So between innings after the game resumed, I just texted my producer. I said, let's try to get Joe on. And I think he really wanted to come on. Usually it takes – you have to go through his people. Yeah, yeah. But he also volunteered to be on Zoom, uh, which, you know, usually don't do. So that gave us the uh, the video portion uh, for the S Network. And then Don and I didn't have to do much heavy lifting there, Rich. He, we just asked one question and he, 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 he went off. He was not happy with Zach Wilson. Yeah, I know. And, you know, your questions that elicited it were, were is what you, you try to be positive. Like, what, what was positive? And you said nothing. And then you said, what would you do if you if if you had him in your, you know, your, uh, I, I guess, mentorship? And he's like, get a, uh, he, he was uninterested in being a mentor to Zach Wilson, Michael. Yeah. You know what's amazing? Here's uh, so many things came out of that interview, Rich. But the thing that really got me. Yes. Joe Namath said he has never met Zach Wilson. And to me, that's that's on the Jets. I mean, this is your most famous alum, period. End of sentence. Every quarterback that puts on a Jet uniform should at least meet Joe Namath and have some words. Not, not to talk about X's and O's, but just to talk about being a quarterback in New York and how you handle it. He has never met the guy. I don't get it. That's malfeasance on the Jets' part. And maybe that led to Joe being as upset as he was. How dare the Jets not make Zach Wilson and Joe Namath meet? It doesn't make sense. Mm. Well, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just want to as, do as much as I possibly can deep down, Michael, on giving the Jets a pass because they at least realized what had happened last year and moved as much heaven and earth as they possibly can to make sure that Zach was either on a path to be redeemed while he could sit and watch from somebody who can teach it and show it, or never play for the Jets again while still being on the roster. And they made every possible move to make that happen, and then Rodgers goes and gets his Achilles blown out just four snaps in. And I, I'm just wondering if, if you know the fan base that you talk to every day is just sleepwalking right now, like zombies like that right now michael they're kind, of, they're kind of in a haze but i will tell you this and i said this in the summer rich so it's not second guessing yes sir there's no way in 2023 that zach wilson was going to be the starting quarterback for the jets no way even if they didn't get aaron Rodgers, they would have brought in another quarterback to be the starting quarterback yes that being said you get aaron Rodgers, which i totally approve of that move and i'm sure that you did too mm. he's 39 years old how did the Jet organization think that it was a good idea to have Zach Wilson backing him up? One heartbeat away from being the starter. Four snaps away from being the starter. Mm. And you're right back to where you were. Why was there not an established veteran quarterback behind him so you don't completely blow the season away? By moving Zach Wilson in there, you have given up on the season. I'm sorry. You have. He would not have been the quarterback if Rodgers were, wasn't there. He should have been the third-string quarterback where he could have learned from Aaron Rodgers. He never should have been the backup. So, um, Michael Kay joining us here from Toronto, Ontario, where the Yankees are beginning to play out the string, and we'll talk about the Yanks in a second and what Aaron Judge said recently about um, you know giving his two cents on what happens moving forward. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was on uh, your colleague uh, at ESPN and our friend Pat McAfee's show in his usual Tuesday spot. Uh, and he was asked about the situation with Zach at present in New York. I don't know if you heard this. I have not heard it, but I have read it. 
This is what he had to say, and I'd love to get your comments on the other side, Michael. This is what teams have to go through. You know, there, there's there's adversity points in every season. This year, it's happening early, and people are coming coming for us. Uh, and there's you know some uh, heated conversations on the sideline and different things. I think we need to hold our poise a little bit better. You know, uh, it it sucks not being there. It's tough. It is really it's really hard. I miss the guys. I uh, miss the leadership opportunity. Miss balling, competing. Feel like you know if I was there. Uh, some of those, you know, things wouldn't be happening. Not sure we'd be free and oh, yeah, I don't know that. I'd like to think um, there's a possibility of that, but but it's more the side stuff that's that's uh, that I don't like and that I, I want to see us stick together through the tough times. I said it to him, you know, in preseason. You know, our, our toughest task is being handling success, and that's whether we're having success or not having success. It doesn't mean you're winning all the time and you're getting out the right way. It's when we're not having success, how do we respond? How do we respond in person? And that goes for our fan base and former players as well. You're not helping the cops. You're not helping the cops. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Michael? Not a shot at Joe? I, well, there's I no mean, question. There's no doubt. And I even said that at the end of the first hour. Will, will he have, will he, will he have, when he's on Pat show, I, I didn't even know, because he's been on Fridays, I didn't even know if it was today. Will he take a shot at Joe Namath? And, um... And everything he said up until that point, I totally um, was there for. But, hey, man, while he was, you know, winning in Green Bay and all of that stuff, I mean, there's a lot of scars here that we were hoping that his play would heal. Um, But I think that was a shot at Namath and telling the fans to R-E-L-A-X in a way, you know? Well, first of all, uh, you know, I've heard from people, Rich. I'm not sure, but I think you're a Jet fan. Yes. So, Joe Joe Namath, I'm sorry, he has carte blanche. He could say what he wants, when he wants to say it. He is the king of New York Jet history. And if he has a, co- a pointed comment like that, he can make it. He doesn't have to be a cheerleader. He doesn't work for the Jets. People that work for the Jets, it's a different story. And Aaron Rodgers hasn't been here his entire career. He doesn't know what Jet fans have gone through. He doesn't know the angst that they've gone through. And there are going to be shots fired. Sorry, there are. And I think Jet fans are most disappointed, not so much in Zach Wilson, but that Zach Wilson has been put into this situation. So I think that goes to the top of the ladder for the Jets. Joe Douglas, who has assembled a really, really, really good roster, has essentially put a child um, in in the seat of a Maserati. Doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense. You've got to back up your 39-year-old quarterback with somebody with more experience. And I'm sorry, Zach Wilson has proven for three years now he is not that guy. The wrong guy to be taking shots at is Joe Namath. I'm sorry. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.